Hey, how's it going? I'm Kim Hayden, and this is The Life Project. Today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the spectrum of emotions. I think I plan on making this a little bit of a series, so today we're going to be focusing on the first bullet point of all of the emotions I'll be talking about, and the subject matter as a whole. I spent the last few years really, really getting to know my emotions. I can say with certainty, I still don't understand all of them, but I do want to talk about what I've learned in full about each of the pieces I've found conversation with. Today's topic is about anger. Um, In my time of moving to Los Angeles, exploring a new city and understanding more about myself, one of the things I've had to tackle is my relationship with anger um, in many spectrums and in any, many places and in any, in, 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 in many ways. Um, this has come with a lot of being able to forgive myself, giving myself the kindness I need to understand what I'm going through and really just sitting with these emotions. Uh, so here's the next speech. Honestly speaking, as a person of color, the amount of people telling me to temper my anger since birth is a rapidly growing number. I know most of the black men in my life have always received the same go-to talk. The good old, as a black man speech. It's, uh, you would do better to just shy away from your anger conversation that often leads to a bundle of people who don't have much control over their anger, over the anger they may possess. I know how easy it is to place all the blame on a person for their lack of emotional growth and maturity, but I can't help but sympathize with the guys who never really got a fair shot at being taught emotions. I often wonder if being docile by force really ever helped minorities or if it only served to make things worse in the long run. In the exploration of my relationship with anger, I came to a subtle but guided understanding. My anger, like all emotions, was seeking to protect me. Protect me from mistakes I'd make, from people who knew not to waste, some, from people who I knew not to waste time on, and most importantly, protect me from perception and how anyone outside of me might attempt to define me. I realized a lot of the times I was placing myself in positions and relationships that made sense for who people defined me as. The results of this was a silent build. The results of this was a silent building coat of dissatisfaction and a larger layer of imposter syndrome. Like, imagine growing at a rapid rate for a talent you kept close to yourself because you feared how the world would receive it, only to realize it was something that could greatly help people. Um, In my overarching relationship, learning more about my anger, I have learned that, just like any other emotion, the overarching goal is just to protect the you that you are. The, the you that isn't defined by outside sources, the you that isn't pushed to be you because of your upbringing. It is a representation of defense for truest you. I've really come to appreciate what my anger does for me. Not in a sense that I love to unleash anger on people who don't deserve it, or yell and uh, boast or brag or anything of that sort. I love it because my anger is also something that helps me hold on to my motivations for doing something as simple as going to the gym. My anger is something that holds on, or motivates me, and pushes me 
in order to do something as simple as what we're doing here today, me talking to you, telling you more about the emotional spectrum so that I can turn all of this into something more than what it is. Um, and so, yeah, that is today's piece about anger. If you liked today's episode, please hit like, leave a comment, just say hey. Um, if you didn't like today's episode, leave a comment, just say hey. Tell me what I could have done differently, but you would have wanted more from me. Uh, I'm open to any and all advice. This is all just the start of things, and uh, like I said in the beginning, this has been Cam Hayden. Uh, this is The Life Project. And thank you so much for uh, listening. I'll see you guys soon.